Hi everyone, um, so I thought since I had the um, camera set up at work and these arrived, I thought I'd uh, have a quick demonstration of uh, the Graph Spree. I also have the um, Missouri by Academy, um, the 1400 scale. Um, so I'll do a video about that in a minute. Um, so I'll be on a separate one. Um, but we'll look at the 1350 Graph Spree. So, um, when I saw this on Amazon, I was quite surprised to see the railings on it because I couldn't see anything in the description about it having a uh, photo etch and um, on the uh, Revel Bismarck model, which is the only other one that I've seen that has a uh, plastic railing, I'm sure there's others out there, um, the railing's quite thick and then I need to carve out um, to make a bit of a gap between um, so uh, let's hope it's a bit better on this one so um, okay so ni nicely detailed um, nameplate there and the railing so it's got um, two rails instead of three like on the uh, Bismarck um, so that will allow it to have a bit more space between it, make it a bit easier for the mold process. Um, but that all looks looks much nicer and I, I can't see any flash on this. Uh, as for the mold lines, I'll know better um, once I actually get in. I do apologise for the lighting on this. Um, I'm recording this at work. Uh, so a two-piece hole. Um, so I need to get some decent plastic glue to hold these together and then take out the mould line. Um, so it's a, there's a reason amount of detail. Now, maybe somebody can tell me, I've, I've seen other videos and people have mentioned about drilling out the portholes. Is that just to make him look deeper or is there another reason? Because don't portholes have glass and therefore the plastic that you can see would just be the glass? I don't know if someone can let me know. But yeah, they, they, they look lovely. Very good. Uh, so, a couple more screws here. Well, whoever made the bags out of that is tough stuff. So, looks like we've got the uh, small boats and some of the weapons, searchlights, and a funnel and planes on there that is raised, which is a shame. Um, I've seen some other kits have got um, the uh, clear plastic and uh, they're able to have recessed lines on that. And then um, it has got some decking on there and yeah, it does, does feel as though it's, it's got a good amount, amount of uh, definition on there. So some more of these barrels. Um, again, not seeing much in the way of flash. And stairs. So, so we've got some superstructure detail here. Um, something I did see on somebody else's video, they were struggling to find uh, lettering for each of the sprues. Um, Academy, I've noticed, do like to have little squares with the letter on it. So, um, so I'm not sure what these parts here are for. Quite small. Oh, that's camera popping about. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there, if there's been a little bit of depression in the plastic you can just about see near the 27. So I'll find out and 
See if that's a slight mould problem or if there's actually something that sticks onto the front of that. So it's quite nice. So and then we've got deck and main guns. Now I'm, I'll be honest, I'm not into boats. Um, not, not much of a historian or anything like that, so I have no idea what a pocket battle ship is. So, um, yeah, is it, is it, they've got two super fire turrets, is it? Uh, instead of the usual three to four that battleships do, so is it pocket because they have fewer super fire turrets, or what? Well, I don't know. So, um, I think that's the water break they call it. So there's a nice definition on there. And the bowels are nice and hollowed out, which is good. And they come in one piece, so you don't have to worry about trying to put two halves together and then losing a lot of the um losing a lot of the barrel to smoothing out. So again, it's good definition on the deck. And then looks like we've got some small fire weapons there. And are these torpedo tubes? Um, bit, bit plain, but I'm guessing that's how it was. There's nothing really there. Um, so we've got the propellers, which doesn't look like they've got much. Um, much of an angle on them, but maybe again that's just how it was. Um, it'd be pretty slow moving if they're any tilted that much. And some of the longer secondary weapons there, which we've got again, ni nice detail on them. And it it's been a great kit, I've not seen a uh, flash anywhere on it, so we'll just have to see what the mold lines are like. There's, you, there's a slight, slight edge to it. But that might come straight off with uh, the edge of a hobby knife instead of having to spend ages grinding everything down. Um, anything else? Uh, instructions and yeah. So, not had much experience with decals. This doesn't feel like a very thick sheet. But it does look like it has quite a bit of colour. Uh, it is quite a vibrant red. But it does look like they missed the mark. So some have got more white round the edges than others. But that's just me being a little bit picky. So they've... Yeah. It is, it's, it's all, you know. It seems all right. Uh, as far as the instructions. Um, so... Diagram of your sprues, and that's not very helpful. But I do think they can print in colour these days, um, especially for a painting guide. So, fold out instructions, which not great, um, but the pictures do seem to be well detailed enough. To give you an idea of where you're putting what. Because you know, I've had some instructions where they've not got the details correct. Um, for instance, part numbers. Um, I've had a few kits recently where the part numbers don't match up with what's on the sprues. So then you're visually looking around trying to find the part that looks like the one that you're after. Um, but that's, that's just unfortunate. So. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, Graphsby. I'll um, hopefully get around to building that soon. Work allowing. And uh, if anyone's got any questions or wants to know more, just give me a shout. Okay, thanks for watching.